there's a lot of night shift nurse out there. Some people, some nurses just work nights. I like both. I like nights. You heard me say it before. Because nights is bring the quiet storm. It's busy. But at least if you're a new nurse and you want to learn, night shift slower pace is ideal. I know a lot of um, healthcare facility, when you're new, they want to orient you and they mandate that you go on day shift. You're going to learn. I have never learned that much on day shift. I like day shift because it's busy and it goes fast. It depends on who orients you, I should say. It goes fast. But night shift, it takes a special breed of nurses. And we're going to continue this conversation. Do you want to get old real fast? Try working the night shift. Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, but you know, when we come back, we enjoy each other. Thank you for stopping by. This is Patrice M. Foster. Night shift. Let's talk about night shift. Night shift, you have to do some major adjustment, balancing, balancing, bal <laughs> balancing, balancing, <laughs> you know what I mean, your life, really. Because I think you eat so much, it's linked to obesity. Night shift nurses, your health may affect it. Because some of the hospital I work, you don't get 30 minutes, you get. They say you get the 215 minutes, and most of us want to take it all. Not like in Japan, I was reading that they get two hours nap if they work 16 hours. And that's so ideal, so welcoming, because you can, come, you can get two hours of sleep and come back on the floor refresh. But if you have the phone, some staff will still call you and wake you up. First of all, you don't have a place, you can't find a place to rest your eye. Some people go in the bathroom, but I'm not going in the bathroom to for my break to take a nap. No. That's not me. But you have to find a place. They should have already have that place set up that you can rest. And, and when they say don't sleep, they're not allowed for you to sleep on the job. On your break, I think you can sleep on your break. But if you have that camera in the break room, why? You can't sleep. I don't know the point for that one. But I know I like the idea in Japan how they get their naps. And so I would like for that to be including when they build in hospitals. They make sure the doctor quarters are perfect. Why not put in a little spur? Put that on um, when you market into nurses. Oh, we have break rooms that you can actually take your break and take a nap if you have. And my two 15 minutes, sometimes I don't get it. Either way, if you don't get a break, they're going to take it out anyway. The other day I was working and I didn't understand why the staff, 
I thought we only get 30 minutes, right? And then we get 15 minutes, 250 minutes. Some hospital or some facility I've worked in Georgia, they don't acknowledge the 215 minutes for the 12 hour shift. So you got to educate them. You know what I mean? So anyway, I was wondering why the nurses take so long to come back. Because I do my 30 minutes and by the time you walk to heat up your food, 30 minutes is over and you got to get back on the floor. You didn't get no break. So someone told me what they do is they clock in, clock out for lunch. Because, you know, when you when they want you, when you're on the monitor, clock in and clock out. So you clocked out for lunch and you clock back in at 30 minutes. And then you stay and do your two um, 50 minutes. That's what they do. I think if... This is taught, if, if they think about this a little better, I'd rather work with a nurse that's alert and refreshed because she had her nap. And it, it can work if you give them an hour to stay and get a nap and have another nurse your, or your, the tech who responsible to wake you up because sometimes you might go in this deep sleep because you never know you're tired until you hit the bed or you sit on the, the chair not the hard chairs that's in the hospital if they have a recliner and you never know you never know so you need to have like a buddy system that's going to wake you up Take care of your health. I know I said in between, rest in between, you really didn't have a day off because your whole day off you, I'm spending is sleeping. And then I have to go back that next day. So I'm still tired. I try doing three 12 hours at once. I just have to get it in my mind to get it over, do it, and then the rest of the two days resting. And then by the time I get ready to go back to work, I'm a little better. So it's a, it's a balance. That's all I can say. Anyway, so take care of your health. If you can do it, Young ones, new nurse, new grads, go for it. It's the ideal place for you to learn because it's a slower pace. The nurses, I feel, on night shift are more inclined to take their time to teach you. I'm sorry, day shift. What I said is night shift nurses have all the time, it's a slower pace, they can be able to answer most of your question, new nurses. I'm not saying if you don't know, if you know that you're gonna fall asleep. You can't, even when they training you, you're like yawning like me. Cause sometimes when people talk, it could put you to sleep. Sometimes when they put you on that one-to-one -to, -one to watch the patient sitting in the chair, for 12 hours, hopefully you get a break. You're going to fall asleep. And based on being on a psych unit, you don't want to sit watching a person and they, you fell asleep. That's an immediate terminator, termination and also your safety. Like it? If you need to hear more information that things that I need to talk about, I welcome you to leave it in the comment. Let's get some sleep. Why am I talking about sleep? This brings me to my next topic.
or story. Someone sent me an article in the news and also it was on YouTube. It was a nurse, I think, I believe, don't quote me on this, in Massachusetts that went to her car and fell asleep. Now, she parked the high tier in the hospital parking lot. And I guess when she wake up, she was a little groggy and she stepped on the gas and went over. I guess the, um, the parking tier, she drove right over and fell. Thank God she was not on alive. Had some injuries. I imagine it's serious. I didn't read where how her condition was. Now, I'm putting it to you. This, what I'm talking about, sleep. Based on the story, said that she was going to be on call. I guess I'm assuming that she, she finished her duty. And rather than go home, you don't know if her home means two hours away or three hours away. Some people draw, drive like me. I never work close to home. I try to get in a job close to home. It, I don't have those kind of luck. So I'm always an hour and a half or sometimes two hours one way to work. And you know, in the morning, Atlanta traffic, you sit in traffic, you falling asleep. And that's a no-no. So that's why I try to take the back road so I could sit somewhere and take a little nap in Publix or Kroger's or one of those stores and then on my way back to home. But anyway, she decided to, to take a nap or stay on the parking lot in the hospital, in the parking garage, because you don't want to go home. You, you're tired already, two hours away, and they call you because you're on call and have to come back. And some hospital, if you miss the call, it could be termination too. So I can imagine that happening, you know, when it fell in a deep sleep and wake up, and I'm pretty sure it's a shock. Now I wanna bring it to you. Do you think she should be terminated? The hospital should fire her or my thoughts, let me tell you my thoughts first before you, you know, I want you to leave a comment because this channel is all about interacting. I felt that if the hospital won her on call and apparently she's one of the critical, maybe the OR, I don't know what position she worked, but usually the OR, maybe it could be dialysis nurse or some critical care nurse that usually go on call because they have them traveling and the nurses complain. I don't want to be on call. You know, that's how I know. Anyway, my thing is why couldn't the hospital pay for her to go into a hotel? That's one of my thoughts or put her up in one of the facility, just like they put up the, the doctor in these luxurious already built on the grounds of the hospital, they have their own quarters with fridge and food and, and probably everything comfort. Probably they got the lawn chair and everything. Anyway, why not do that? If she already worked, she knows she's going to give her that option if they could be a a little considerate we always the second thought another thing it's not always the hospital fault fault I'm gonna play devil advocates right now say the hospital decided to give her a stipend to go in a hotel use the stipend to go in a hotel. she decide oh no I'm gonna just keep the money and I'm gonna stay in the um, my car. 
What do you think? What are your thoughts? I probably, like most, would, if you need the money, then you probably going to stay in your car. I don't feel comfortable sleeping in no parking lot in a car, in any deep sleep. Just like when traveling to New York or traveling on the road, you just hit the, the, the stop, the rest area, and keep going. I can't get in deep sleep like I see people getting deep sleep. Anything can happen safety-wise. Go in a hotel. But I'm wondering, I guess we will never know, did they offer her, because I'm here in, in Mississippi, there's a hospital that will put you up in one of the hospital rooms. It's not ideal because I wouldn't take it. Or a hotel if she's been working and she knows she's going to be on call. So that's why I was coming out here to talk about, you know, this nurse that fell off. I don't know much about the story. Just, just the highlight. Mm -mm. Say that early morning of May 17, an officer arrived at the hospital saw a heavily damaged white Grand Cherokee and an injured woman. The guardrail was missing. I'm just narrating it a little bit. Boston Fire told the officer that somehow the woman had driven the vehicle off the top floor of the garage. She was exhausted, on call, nurse fell asleep after putting the car into reverse. However, the police report said the woman hit the gas instead of the brake and the car toppled off the garage front first. The woman told police she had finished working her shift but was on call beginning at 11. She decided that rather than go home, she would sleep in her vehicle. Around 1 a.m., she moved to get away from light and that is when the incident happened. That's just a short version to let you know exhaustion from working night shift, sleepy. You can put yourself in a lot of situation, mistake, medication mistake can happen, giving the wrong medication to the wrong patient, the wrong time in hospital to at least acknowledge us nurses. Give us the space, space to relax. There's, I've been in several hospital traveling and the break room for nurse, sometimes it's a closet space. Sometimes they have break room where you can eat, the fridge is there and everything you can, but they have the camera. Why do you need a camera in your break room? Break room for nurses should be just so that you can relax. But it's not so. They don't want you to sleep. They want you to stay up. I happened to go to a, um, did a travel assignment in a, I think it was Albany, a place in New York. And the hospital, the nurses has, the state came in and they passed um, Jayco, whatever, they passed the state, whatever, the survey. And the gift they got, yeah, they got the pizza, but they got another gift. The hospital donated a massage chair, a beautiful, comfortable massage chair. And where it was located, because they didn't have any spot to, for the nurse to go privately sitting there and get a little massage and wind down until on their break. So they put it right there in the nurse's station. Why would you put a mass, uh, a massage chair in the nurse's station? You ain't going to get no rest because everybody come by going to ask you question and you're on your break. And that's where you're going to take your break. Do you know what happened to the chair? It's full of nurses' coats. It's full of books. And that's what the chair is. I've never seen none of the nurses. I've been there 13 weeks. 
I stay there. None of the nurses use it. So that was a waste of money. Create a space. When I wanted to, um, when I'm traveling and I want to go away, take a break, I find it difficult to find a spot for nurses. I go into their makeshift church in the hospital and just stay there, close my eyes and pray. I don't, I don't normally sleep on the job. It's, it's eerie. I just got an eerie feeling about that. The environment and, you know, some people say universe or spirit, whatever. Respect. And here we go again, Patrice. You want respect as a nurse. Yeah. Treat us the way management get treated. I'm pretty sure the doctors has full of sodas, full of whatever they need in their refrigerator. I'm pretty sure. Because when they come up on the floor, they look real relaxed and rested. So I wanted to come out here because, you know, we're always forgetting, nurse. And the only way we can do something about it is if we come together and support each other. We all complain, 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 but we don't come together and do something about it. And that's why we continue to work in the toxicity, in the toxic place. And if you don't speak up, no one know how you feel. It's just me complaining, me complaining. And you looked at the complainer, even though you know what they're saying is true. You look at them because some some nurses, they just shut down. They, they got this, like the other video I had, I was just numb. I was just so confused, frustrated, and numb. I'm at a better space now because I know what I'm doing. I didn't like the feeling. And all I needed was someone to step up and say, let me show you. Let me show you. You didn't get this in orientation. Let me help you. But every man for himself. And that's not a good thing, nurses. Come on. 2024. Get a grip of yourself. Have a wonderful day and night in your state and your country. Goodbye.